3D scatter plot is a diagram used to display the relationship between three variables, continuous variables, and you want to look at the relationship, the 3D scatter is the way to go for. And to do a 3D scatter in SPSS, here I have a data, uh, continuous data from 1 to 7, and I want to look at the relationship between data number 5, 4, and 5, and 6. And I'm going to add additional variables, dichotomous variables for gender, gender, male or female, to sort out the data, males and females, when we look at the relationship between these three variables. So the way to do that in SPSS is to click on graphs, legacy, dialogues, then click on scatter dot select 3d scatter click on define i am going here to select data 4 and move it to the y-axis and i'm going to select data 5 and move it to the x-axis and i'm going to select data number 6 and add it to the z-axis and I'm going to set markers by gender. So I'm going to generate a legend showing males and females for the relationship between these three variables. Here I could also add a title for the diagram or graph or chart and footnotes and also, I uh, can add subtitles, but I will leave it because I'm going to add it in different way. So if I click on OK, a 3D scatter plot is generated in which you have data number 4 on the y-axis, data 5 on x-axis, and data 6 on the z-axis. And uh, small circles color green and blue, blue for male, green for female, and again here I can really do a few modification and edit editing for the graph. If I double click on the graph, I will get another window, and if I double click on that, and I'm going to change the background into white, so it's becoming white, and I could also change the, again, if I single click on data, I can, sorry, if I single click on data, I can really edit the text within it. And if I double click on it, I can do some modification by increasing the font size, changing the color to red, and so on and i could do the same thing for five changing the color changing the font and so on and get click on apply and i also can do the same thing for the other label in this way and uh, that's that's the for the levels. I can also click on the y-axis number and I can do some modification if I wish. Instead of having two decimals, go for one for zero decimals. And if I wish also, I could change the scales by changing the increments by 10 to let's say eight. So give us more space or increase that to 15 and so on changes back again to 10 and I could do the same thing also for the other the x-axis changing the decimal to zero and 
and again if I wish I could also change the scale here and I could do also the same thing double click on this number to change the decimal into zero and I can also scale it if I want whatever scales I want to do and basically this is most of the things that I really want to change to do I also can change the font if I want by clicking red make it click to highlight it and so on so these are some of the modification can be done with this 3d scatter plot I could also click double click on the graph or single click and then right click in this right click I had a, I get a list of things that I can do I can rotate the scatter box whichever direction I want up and down right left and so on I can also add title correlation and I can add a footnote figure Here one and so on what else other changes I can do is hide the legend or show the legend I can also transpose data 5 with 6 and 6 with 5 and so on so these are some of the editing things that can be done on the 3d scatter plot so now also I can if I want to export this 3d scatter plot I can do that by clicking on this right click on the graph and then go for export in the export I could really export the file in different format either as a PDF or as a Word document or as a PowerPoint so I'm going to export it as a PDF and I'm going to select the folder to put it on correlation and I'm going to leave it here I'm going to call it 3d click save and I'm going to take this open the containing folder it's it is in when the software extract the diagram into the folder and once it is done it will automatically go to that folder and if I double click it is in it it is saved as a PDF file so this is one way to export the diagram the other one is to right click and then click on copy image and then you have to make it clear that in this box you need to select the image format to copy image and then click OK and then you can transfer that into Word documents or Excel or even PowerPoint and if you right click here choose this again that diagram is shown in the PowerPoint